How is turpentine good though? It's not even good to breathe it. I'm not here to talk about turpentine, but I'm not here to talk about turpentine. I'm not here to endlessly debate with people about water or turpentine. Self-obsession in any way is feminine. Not detoxing isn't feminine, nutrition isn't feminine, but people endlessly, endlessly thinking about my own diet and then talk about it endlessly. Endless talk of detoxing and nutrition, it, it is feminine, but I'm not gonna endlessly talk about it and debate it because there's a femininity to it. Don't get like obsessed with your like diet and stuff. That's also very gay and feminine. What I do, my truth with my gut health, it's like, dude, I'm out. I can see how people get too obsessed with their own diet and them. It's, it's an odd narcissism that can overtake you when you're just obsessed with killing your, your gut um, parasites. So I'm not going to go down that road. I saw the ticket. I saw the ticket where I could just fire up the live stream every day and go into great depth as to what I'm currently consuming and what I think it's going to do for me because I'm a special boy and I deserve the best. I'm not going to like ladle all of that too much because there is an element of narcissism in me constantly thinking about what I'm eating and what is going on in my own gut and thinking everyone else is really interested in it. Um, I'm just gonna not do that. Yeah, some call distilled water, turpentine, people call me crazy. Yeah, I jacked up my IQ another 20 points. Yeah, I'm the crazy one, okay. Goat milk. Yeah, yeah, I'm the crazy one for, for jacking up my, my power level a few, a few notches. Yeah, no, no not, the, not the gay guy whacking off to pornos and criticizing me behind a computer screen. No, it's this guy. If the banking elite isn't arrested, you know, drink a lot of vinegar and, and, and kill the, the, the parasites in your gut. Because that stuff you have control over and you can actually help your life. BB, my wife read about a man who ate a worming tablet and cured himself of cancer. Yeah, man, there's a lot going on in the biome. They've accomplished a lot with the, with the breakdown of um, family and the Luciferian agenda and all that. But the, see, the thing is, it's like gut biome. A lot of them don't even know what they're doing. They're just... I see it as an addiction to, to wrath. I see it as like literally like gut biome. Like people, like what gets clicks, like what people are drawn to a lot of times is horror and anger and, and um, lust and all that. I'm like 30 pounds fatter in it. So now I'm watching it. I'm like, you fat fuck. You haven't even killed any of your parasites in your gut yet. Lazy fuck. I'm, I'm thinking that about myself. I don't like fans. Fans freak me out. It's like, oh, I will give you attention and I will send you things about how great you are, and then you can suckle off that. But in exchange, I want you to need me, and I want you to say the things that keep my yeast growing in my gut. Oh, It's the self-serving. It's the narcissism. It's saying, I can distort reality to feed my own needs. That's the problem. And, it, and I think it all does uh, stem from parasites in one's gut. It, it's just about getting rid of the shit, like, getting, like not being controlled by your gut parasites. I've been killing my gut biome with uh, turpentine. It's a teaspoon of organic pine turpentine uh, with some white sugar. It draws out the parasites, kills the parasites. And then there's this also this product out of Russia that's all silica that will draw the dead body parasites to them and, um, and get rid of all the heavy metals in your body. It's great. It's one of the reasons old people used to live to be 100 and now people live to be 60 and they turn gay. In America, our food, it makes you like this stuffed, like this stuffed meat bird. Trying to kill the things in your gut that want you to eat things that will kill you is a whole process. And it can make you, you know, it, it, it can put you through hell. Being a baker was not good for my gut. Oh dude, I get it. I get it, my wife, Bakes the best bread I've ever had. BB, your gut parasites are definitely dying right now. I love the aggression. Yeah, no, it's legit. Jack Parsons was a full-blown witch. They claim that he was summoning demons. This is how they claim they were summoning demons, by the way. Here's one of the things. They used gut parasites and mold, and they fed them a special um, alchemical... Uh, thing and they and they grew into like little gremlins. I think that there is some of these like little demon creatures that they talk about is um, parasites and mold that are fed a lot and they literally grow. Oh yeah, fungi gnomes. Dude, they really believe that. It could be true, I don't know. Jason and Crow just did a recent um, 
stream with a dude talking all about what we've been talking about here. I don't know if he's quite ready to address uh, Turpentine being legit. I've been getting a lot of emails. People are like, Big Bear, Big Bear, how dare you? You're poisoning yourself with Turpentine. Dude, a teaspoon of turpentine is an ancient remedy. A lot of blue zones in China have been doing it, and they live to be like 130. What, what recommendations do you guys have for gut health? Because you, you guys uh, know a lot about this, and I've been on this crazy kick to to kill the parasites. Because in my mind, the that David Ike uh, Archon thing never made much sense to me. I reacted very similar to you, Crow, where it was like. You know, I've never seen one, you know, but it makes sense to me when dealing with gut parasites that feed on wrath, pride, vanity, all the deadly sins. They almost are trying to convince you to excrete these different hormones that end up killing you, you know? If you eat a KFC, which by the way, verbatim encodes 9-11 idea, um, you're eating crap. The real demons, the real parasites in this world, the real liars, the real Satanists, they don't even feel it. All they do is operate based on their bad gut biomes. <laughs> They're just gone. They're just operating in this very low, very um, primitive vibration of just feeding their gut uh, worms. I have this feeling, this gut, you know, and I trust my gut. I've drank enough turpentine in my life to trust my gut. Take off your damn diapers. Quit being a scared little kid in a closet that's worried that some magical coronavirus is going to come kill you and your family <laughs> and be a damn adult. The media won't tell you how to get around this stuff, how to cleanse your own gut, how to, to research what really happened in history. I, I'm all about the nutrition gravy. That's my new focus lately. You know, NASA gets a little gay. I'm like, yeah, they're liars. So lately, it's been all about gut parasites and the rewriting of history. Turpentine, a little bit of that extreme shit. Dude, there's an argument that some really strong tequila is actually good for your gut. Where, like, back in the day, people would have just a little bit of moonshine or some shit. I'm not recommending it, but... Michelob Ultra, I didn't see that. Great call. Oh, dude, MK Ultra. Be fruitful, multiply. Don't be fruity and boil a guy. Because you will get gut parasites. I think a lot of that shit in the Bible, in the Old Testament, about diet and sodomy and stuff, is because they knew that if you put your dick in a man's ass, everybody died of parasites. And it, and it gave you a disgusting, disgusting little personality. And it's all becoming very apparent that that's 100% true. Sorry, Neil, my ass, Tyson. But you're a liar and probably a rapist. Someone wants to know what you think about turpentine. <laughs> I've never learned it, and I'm not qualified to make a call because I, I don't have any direct experience, so I'm just not qualified. Oh, sweet. I'm not telling people to drink turpentine, guys. I'm not. But I will direct you to um, a video. Check out the Detox Dudes. So turpentine and castor oil, atom bomb for parasites. 285,000 views. Hey, that's some kind of conspiracy theorist. People were sending me email like, for the love of your family, do not drink turpentine. It's a teaspoon of organic pine turpentine, not the shit you get in art stores, like the good turpentine. It's been used in traditional medicine for thousands of years. And people are like, dude, you're going to die. You know, going through a mild turpentine cleanse. Dude, there's gamma males making a... Alan Benjamin is drinking turpentine. You guys have no fucking clue what health is. None. And the people making these videos are fat, soft gammas with no families, no jobs, nothing. And they think they could look at me. Look at my face. Look at my body. It's getting harder. If you do get any turpentine, which I'm not recommending necessarily, make sure it's organic pine. My... Head is my hair is thicker, and it's not because of turpentine. It's because I'm really focusing now on not filling my body with shit. And I'm trying to starve parasites. Oh, Big Bear, you cried. I've cried being emotional about missing family, about a dead friend. Uh, when I was doing gut, like uh, gut parasite detoxing and stuff, I'm not a crier, guys. A Jewish girl can give you herpes. Not a big deal. Scrub it off. Be a man. Throw some turpentine on that ween of yours. That's one thing to watch out when you're dating Jewish women. It's not herpes. You can scrub it off with a little turpentine. Just remember, not the turpentine at Home Depot. It's pine spirits. It's just pine gum. Original organic turpentine, like natural turpentine, is vastly different than the turpentine people think that it's just like 
wait a minute, you drink turpentine? <laughs> like, no, like, no, it's not that. It's way different. 100% pine gum spirits equals turpentine, not the paint thinner turpentine. Exactly, exactly. We're not stupid people. Um, all right, I gotta go. Yeah, this is supposedly a day without any gra gravy. Turpentine, guys. I know people have been making fun of me about turpentine and, and stuff like that and still water. I don't know if you can tell, but I'm just dropping weight and getting healthier. My mind's clear. Someone just asked how much turpentine do I take a day? None now. I, I did uh, I did four days where every morning I did a teaspoon of pine spirits. Not the shit you buy in Home Depot. I said that every podcast. And I'm not even telling you what to do. I'm just telling you what I did. Uh, with some white sugar to draw out the parasites and kill them. And now I'm, I'm not. I'll probably do a... Maybe once a month, do a teaspoon, but it's not like a morning ritual. I think if you drank turpentine every morning, it would probably have a negative effect after a while. This is made from distilling pine tar. You know, pine trees? Um, but I get it. I'm not preaching turpentine, guys. I'm just letting you know what... Dude, this distilled water shit is, I think, going to have a more profound effect on me than anything and i'm encouraged by your recent discovery of pine uh turpentine <laughs> gay parasite comes from sodomy yes apple cider vinegar kills parasites yeah apple cider kills parasites you know compassion for the devil it's a, it's the best way to understand how to how to deal with it it's like the gut parasites just started my turpentine class today but remember what kind of turpentine pine gum and just remember a teaspoon turpentine's legit but if you've noticed my mental clarity escalating, glass, bottle, water, all day long. So distilled water is the business. I, I recommend, like, listen, the turpentine cleanse, I'm glad I did it. I'm, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna crank it once a month just to make sure the, the uh, pomegranates in my gut are dead. And, uh, but cranking distilled water it's like gut biome. It's like the, 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 the universe in your gut and what they crave and what they eat and all this can bend and change and go through all these um, these phases without you dying or sometimes even noticing. And that's why it's like, it's, a, it's an interesting time and to not be afraid and to uh, just ladle that gravy. No one to simmer the gravy. Do a little taste test to make sure it's not poison gravy. You know, forgive yourself if you were duped um, and just keep crushing. Maybe I shouldn't stream when I'm killing parasites. <laughs>